I plummeted. I am a girl who thrives on routine. I detest expanses of space that seem to stretch to eternity. New journals, open calendars, the slow roll of endless road. Because they imply a certain need to sit with oneself, they are terrifying. A more intimate vulnerability emerges in the private communion with self to invite the accumulation of ideas that hurt and shame and indict. And so I sat with myself in April and in May, in between pounding out essays and penciling out equations with a dignified precision to avoid the former. Any singular grit within me was steadily siphoned away with each X feebly crossed in a calendar box. June and July were marked by the routine collection of sorrows to place carefully within the folds of my heart where they would sit reverently. I built a chapel for them in my soul, and though they still sting around their edges to hide the soft hurt in their center, I vow to feed these inhabitants with something resembling joy.